Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is an iMac that we're going to be working on. And I just want to talk about it a little bit. It's a little bit, yeah, you can kind of see here, there's duct tape that actually does go, that's holding this in. Um, the customer actually did come in. He did the screen himself, which it's amazing. He didn't break it or anything like that or damage the internal connector. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. But what happened is, uh, you can see that there's tape around here, so you can almost already guess that there is a problem with the screen holding itself. Um, from what I understand for this one is that that the actual screen itself did fall off um, when just on normal use, which means they probably didn't take off the old adhesive when they did replace the screen. So they did almost everything right, but they didn't totally complete the actual repair, which would be to replace the adhesive on the screen. So we're just gonna go take a look and see. Uh, we're also gonna be doing a cool, it'll be a two terabyte upgrade. Uh, he already has a one terabyte in here. He wants to do a two terabyte upgrade since it's already open. And we we just wanna talk a little bit about when we do these type of repairs. Um, I'll be doing the process of removing the old adhesive and putting a new one on. And we'll show you why that's really important, uh, especially in something like this and how lucky someone can actually be for this. So we, what we wanna do is we wanna take off this screen because I do know it's not really great in frame here, but I'll show you with the, with the other camera. Yep, so it's, you can see it better here that uh, this is it. And what we want to do is we can put it down. And uh, duct tape actually does a pretty good job. It's, it's holding it on each side. So it's actually doing a pretty nice job at least holding it in there. And it's good to actually leave it down. And you always want to make sure it is unplugged, which it is. This is great. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take it down here and it's okay for now. Uh, this does hold actually pretty well because it's on each side. I wouldn't recommend it as a typical type of uh, way of doing it. And if you just want to make it easier for yourself, I wouldn't recommend it because it's tape and if the tape loosens up, then you're going to have a bad time when that screen falls. Um, a big danger is let's actually just remove this. Let's remove the tape and everything. And uh, we want to actually lift up the screen and then we want to take a look at the uh, potential problems that can come with it. So let's just do that real quick. Look, it's so big you can't even see it in frame. It's too big. 21 inch is a little bit better, smaller. It's easier to contain. It's just, well, if you have the table space, it's easier. But I always like doing this because it's, it's easier this way and I never have to worry about the screen actually gonna just fall and crack on me like uh, I do know what happened in, <laughs> in one of Linus videos actually he did that someone dropped it they never showed it on camera so you know it's real if they didn't show it on camera no. alright so now since we got all the tape off uh, we want to lift the screen and it's pretty dangerous to actually lift the screen at this way let me see if I can get a better angle on the let's use the other camera yeah let's see if I can get it down let's get a better angle so when you do this, I like to do it from the bottom here. I think it makes it easier. All right, so when you lift this, you wanna be really careful. I will show you why. It's very easy to crack that screen again. Especially if the old adhesive's still there, that's really bad. Like, cause it's gonna stick again a little bit. That uh, looks like we may need to peel it cause it's stuck a little bit there. This is always a dangerous thing, especially since it's yeah, it's a little. <laughs> it's still a little bit stuck here. So that's the problem. Whenever you have an old adhesive, it can stick a little bit. All right. So whenever you do this too, here we go. Now we can start here again. So you just lift it up here. Um, always want to be careful whenever you do remove any of the cables because the cables are actually here. It's very easy to damage the screen. Uh, not just the screen, but the the connection. So there's a power connector over here. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Yep. Alright, so there's a power connection here. And then there's an LCD connection with a flap here. Alright, so the sun's, once that's safe, we can slowly lower it again. And we want to make sure this thing comes up. Yep, there we go. Okay. We'll pull off from the old adhesive. So, once you move the screen, uh, it's very easy to damage cables and connections. Let's just put this to the side here. Actually, let me go put this away. Let me show you. Well, if I can at least show you, that would be great too, huh? So, these cables here that come out, see, they're the ones that connect to the screen. Obviously, there's the connections here. Let me just put this down real quick so then I can show you where the connections are. All right, so when you have this facing you, 
this would be good. So this is going to be what's what's really facing you here. And you want to see that there are connections that are really important. And it's really easy to damage. Whenever you have a screen, you can see that there's an actual adhesive that goes all the way around here. And you can see, obviously, this is not been a great job. This needs to be removed. Whenever you do remove this, something like this, this is the old adhesive. Whenever you put anything that has adhesive down in the first place, you want to make sure you remove the old one. So if we remove the old one, we want to put the new one on because if you leave the old one, it's not good. You can see how bad this looks even up here. And you can see that this thing is peeling off. It's really disgusting. So if you bring in something like this or if you do re replacement, even not only just on IMAX, but especially IMAX, um, anything with adhesive, you want to remove the old adhesive and put the new one on. Uh, this also goes well with surfaces too. You, want, if you, want, you don't want to be doing this because this is exactly why you're going to have the problem that he came in here with the first place. So anytime that you do it, you want to make sure you do remove this. And um, not only that, but when you do a screen, uh, especially if it is, it's being held in, Especially if the screen's being held in by the adhesive, what it can do is it can fall a little bit here and then these connectors can get damaged. The one that we're holding it in. This is a very easy connector, it's called the LVDS connection. And it's the connection that does put output to the actual LCD. And then this is the power connection that goes for the LCD here. It's a little bit hard to see there, but uh, you can kind of tell it's a little piece of metal. It's very easy if that force of the screen comes down, this is going to tear and this is going to pull out. So. That's a very scary thing to have, and especially an expensive machine. And some of these are the newer machines, and they are uh, they have the 5K display. Uh, this one, I believe, is an older model, but it's still the same type of principle that goes in all the, the displays for it. Um, so if you have that, you're uh, pretty good to go. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you remove all this adhesive. You can just—it's not even difficult either. You can just use your fingernail, and you can go ahead and uh, and take them off. Take it off with that. It's really not too difficult to do. Uh, you just peel it and make sure. You don't have to get absolutely perfect, but you want to make sure that at least all the little black strips are off. These, This is the manufacturer's one. And uh, you won't really damage anything with your fingernail. So don't worry, because this is just the frame of it. And you want to make sure that you just go all the way around whenever you do it. You can actually check out my... Uh, I did a video on this a while ago. I believe it was... <laughs> I think it's the same model. I think, it is, I think they're both the 20 tilt the one I did. Um, this is the A1419, and you can just see, you can just remove the adhesive there, how satisfying that is, and how easy it is to. I'm not really spending much effort for it, but the, the idea to remove the old adhesive is so you can put the new adhesive on. You don't want to put glue on top of glue or anything because it's not going to stick as well as it will to the frame. Uh, the frame will do a really good job of holding it in with uh, new adhesive, so you want to make sure you remove the old adhesive. See, so this side is right now, it's done, the left side. Uh, we're just going to be doing the rest of it. I don't know if you guys really want to be satisfied by looking at this, but now we're just going to be doing each other side, just kind of going along the sides here uh, and just removing all the adhesive. You can see that this hard drive on the 27 inches, this hard drive actually is, is a little bit too small. You can see that it's not even holding on this side. It's just loose. First, uh, I can tell you why that's loose because you didn't put a bracket here on the 27 inches They have uh, big full hard drives like this one and this is basically you can see how easy this will fit here Right, so it'll fit almost perfectly because this is a 3.5 inch drive and it will actually fit on here but when you have the 21 inches they do have the smaller 2.5 inch drive So you don't need any other bracket But for this one we want to make sure that we also put uh, a bracket in it as well and to put in so it holds better because you can do it like this, but you can see if you ever move the actual uh, SSD itself or you move the iMac, it's screwed in once. It's going to kind of hold, but it's not going to be absolutely perfect. It won't hold an absolute perfect um, fashion. So we're just going to be removing it and definitely want to make sure that you do put in a bracket for it if you don't have one already. So once you get off the old adhesive. Um, you can see all this little nasty wood. This is pretty good. This is good enough. It might be a little bit sticky, but that's still fine. You're not really worried about it too much. So you can just throw the old adhesive away. Um, what I like to do first is we like to do the work first. So what we want to do is install the new SSD first. I think that would be better to do that. Uh, once you do that, because then you can test out the screen, the last thing you want to do is to put on the, the screen. You want to put the screen on last because and adhesive it and everything because once you have that on, that's it. Like there's no going back, especially once it's a well adhesive, you're gonna have to do the whole process again and it's a lot of work. So 
I want to make sure you do that. So I think for now, I do need to take this one off. This is easy if he, since he already did it. This will be a little e easier to remove, just like that. And I think there's a screw in here, but this shouldn't be a screw. This is usually a stub here, and he screwed it in. So that's fine. You can still take it off, but just one screw holding everything in there. It makes it a little more difficult from the side. Oh, there. There we go. It's a very strange screw. Okay. So I guess it really... See, it wasn't even really... I didn't even really unscrew that much. So it wasn't in that well. He already has a 1 terabyte SSD, which is good, but he wants 2 terabytes. So we'll do that. Um, he also wants it to be cloned, so we need to clone this first, and then we'll put it back in. Test it. Make sure it works. And if it works, then we'll adhesive the screen again and put it back. All right. So while that's cloning, what we want to do, you can see there's also a lot of tape around the edges here. We just want to take this off because that's part of the adhesive too and you need to take that off. And again, you can just do the same thing. You just use your fingernail to go all the way across. It's, it's more easier to do it this way. So this comes out pretty easy. Uh, Starting from this side, see that? Because this will stick to the screen and uh, so when we put the new ones on, it's going to be the same problem. You just have, you have to take off the old adhesive. So nothing too difficult though. Just use your fingernail again and it usually comes off. And this is the manufacturer's tape. If you use something else, it probably won't be as good, obviously, because the manufacturer always does make usually the best type of adhesive all the time. Always dangerous move with this thing. Looks like it's just gonna fall apart. It's pretty thin. It's uh, not too big of a deal. It's pretty thin glass, but this is edges, man. It's easy to possibly crack it. So be careful. You need to do the littlest thing. So you have to bubble wrap around it, make sure you don't damage or scratch the screen on the surface. There we go. Nice and satisfying. Oh. Alright, so. Um, it's not absolutely perfect because we don't have the original screws that do go in here, but it should hold it enough at least to be good. It's connected. We did replace it with the 2 terabyte here. Now what we want to do is put uh, the new adhesive on that goes around here. And I have some nice adhesive for this one because it'll fit absolutely perfect. Alright, so we're just going to put the new adhesive that goes around here. And then we will put the screen on. I got, I'm very spoiled. I got my own adhesive here. <laughs> it's going to fit absolutely perfect. I always like to make it as perfect as we can because uh, this one's fitted. It just saves me time. I mean, you can use it like 3M, anything like that to, to make it perfect, but this is fine too. This would be very nice. It just makes my life easier, especially after doing this for a while. I don't want to mess up on the glue and especially he's a person that did come in for the for the glue issue, you know, so we'll make sure we, <laughs> we give them good ones that will never fall off ever again. So. These fit. They're shaped perfectly. They should fit perfect. There we go. It's one. It's like arts and crafts now. I'm just putting on glue and stuff. So let's make a face. It's hard to do this while sitting down perfectly. But there's holes that should line up, especially for the tape I got. So it should be pretty good. I want to make sure I get the corner edge nice. Yeah, I mean, you can use this, this type of thing. You can just special order one that goes exactly for your iMac, and they fit. It's, I wouldn't say it's absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close. Like, pretty close to perfect. Sometimes the holes and uh, the length isn't completely accurate, even though it should be, because <laughs> you have one job, right? And the whole point of this is to make it absolutely perfect for me. But it's all right. I think some of these uh, do cover for other models, too, but that's kind of silly if it's even a little bit different that shouldn't be the point because the whole point of buying this is so if it's perfectly but it's all right just got what we got so okay and let's put it on this side now this one's always in trouble it never peels perfectly this one I don't know why. I bought this one for a while and <laughs> sometimes it just doesn't come off. It's bottom piece. But this piece is extremely important because uh, this is the one if you ever have to open it again, you want this one to be the easiest one. 
So the line goes like that. They can go a little bit inside, it's fine. You don't want them touching each other too, so. Let me pick up that, that's perfect. There we go. And same thing here, just the bottom. And you want to make sure it's all the way at the bottom there because that's where the crevice goes, otherwise you'll get a little gap. You don't want the little gap at the bottom there when you put this, the glass on. So. Ah. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's your frame. Uh, it's all adhesed. Looks nice. Now what we can do is, since we have everything plugged in, um, this is what I like, like to do. I know you have to plug in the screen, obviously, to make it work and to test it. But I want to make sure these are connected before I fully put down the screen. So I'm going to be taking off all these uh, tapes here, the covers for the tape. Right, and you always want to test because once the thing goes totally flat. All right, there we go. Oh, this is doing it too. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. All right, we're Gucci now. All right. So once you get all this, this is good. Once the tape is there, now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the screen is going to connect here and turn on before we totally flatten the screen. So. I, know I made a mess here, but that's fine. We'll switch to the top-down view. Okay, so at this point, I want to make sure that this plug is actually plugged in for power, and not in the outlet yet, but at least plugged in so I can do this. So, and I put this flat because it makes it easier for me. And I'll we'll plug it in the back here. We'll make sure it's plugged in, like here in the back side, just so then we can just plug it in and test it real quick while we're holding it. Because uh, once you put this thing down, that's it. It's over. You have no, go there's no going back. So, is that in all the way? Yeah. Okay. okay, so this is in, and we don't want to touch the adhesive, so I'm gonna lay it on its back like this. So it does boot on. That's fine. We always like to test it before we totally put the screen on. Most important thing is at least get the camera on right. It's always hard to get absolutely perfect, but you know, we do what we can do with uh, one man or so. So uh, that's about it here. All right, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to re-adhese an iMac and uh, the dangers that do go on with there. And I hope you guys learned a little bit of something about that. We also did do a cloning for this one, so you know, we put in a new bracket because uh, you don't want to leave that out there. With the drives that go in here, they're, they're the little bit thicker ones like I showed you before, so you do need a bracket if you're putting an SSD. So one of the best things you can do for this type of uh, display would be an SSD upgrade. You know, it's a big, big deal in performance gains, uh, not just from booting the operating system, but for just doing all the day-to-day -day tasks. So you'll notice a huge improvement on that. Um, that's definitely something, especially if you have a cracked screen or if you have the screen removed already, or if there's anything else really doing it, uh, it's always best just to get it done all at once, any type of repair, because you can see the potential damage that can happen to this uh, type of iMac repair. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please leave a like if you found this video very informative. Please subscribe for more content. We're almost at 5,000. So please hit that subscribe button. It really does help us a lot. Um, take a look at our other videos. I do have a full replacement on how to do this in one of our... I do have a full replacement video on how I did this screen from start to finish. If you want to go ahead and check that out too. It should be the same one as this one, but it shows you from start to finish when we we're actually removing the glass and putting it back on. You can see the steps for this. But for this one, always need to be careful because uh, especially when we re-adhesive it, uh, the glue is it's very easy to damage the glass here. And you want to make sure that it does turn on and power on before you put it back on. Um, and that's really about it. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Bye.